What is going on my friends? We are on a brand new hardcore world and it seems we have spawned up in the mountains. Well, I mean, we definitely did and we definitely could have spawned in powdered snow. Yeah, powdered snow. I actually don't know if you're able to spawn in that stuff because it would suck a lot. I mean, a brand new hardcore world, pretty cool seed and then death by snow cold snow. All right, let's get started though, because we only have so much time in the day and we definitely want to try getting a bed before the first night so I don't have to hide in a hole all night. Let's collect up some of our first oak wood, craft ourselves some planks, then a crafting table, sticks, and then a pickaxe. Now let's collect up a little bit of stone so we can uh, graduate from using this horrible wooden pickaxe. Got our first advancement, stone age. 16 stone should be good enough to make a furnace if we need to and then also some tools ah the lovely stone pickaxe but i need more sticks so we can make a normal axe and a sword now let's collect this thing up and hopefully we can find a village maybe Ooh, and there's another mountain right over there and some sheep really cool collect up some of these pumpkins and also some of these sheep Don't ask me how, but somehow I managed to hit a bee. Luckily, they are very slow. Yeah, you chasing after me, buddy? Yeah, you're super slow. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Give me that XP. I feel bad because I would, like, normally never kill a bee in this game. But it is hardcore, and I don't want to get stung and then maybe die because poisoning. Yeah, lots of words. Oh, my goodness. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't walk forward when you can't see what's in front of you. That could have been really bad. We're down to four hearts. We're gonna make some food now. I got so lucky. That was such a far drop. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we got a village right here too. That's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna collect some of this hay real quick so then I can make some bread and then hopefully get some hearts back. Turn this into wheat and turn all of this into bread. That was way too close of a call. But hey, at least we're off to a really good start on a really cool looking seed. There's literally mountains all around us and some villagers. Oh, and by the way, if you like this series and you like my content, maybe you could hit that subscribe and like button. And if you're feeling extra nice, you can hit that notification bell. Enough of that though. Let's explore this village. Do we have any crops besides wheat? Yes, we do. We just got some carrots. Oh, did we get a potato also? Awesome. All right, that should be good. What does this guy have to trade? All right, nothing, nothing too uh, great there. Don't mind if I steal this bell and also this one. And then let's see if there's any chest maybe. Oh, we got a chest right here. We got two empty maps, actually three. I'll leave the paper. Don't really need that. Any chest in here? Yep, got one right here. Some potatoes. Don't need the golden nuggets either, but I'm going to take the bread. What's going on, Mr. Iron Man? Well, Iron Golem, but you guys know what I mean. Shout out to all my Marvel fans out there. Anything? Oh my goodness. Tons of apples and a ton of potatoes. What about in here? You know, I'm going to take one of these beds because why not? What up, Mr. Baby Villager? Oh, that's the back of my head. That's the front of my head. And that's the baby villager jumping on the bed. I'm going to take a minute to collect up all of these hay bales so I have plenty of wheat to make some food. Well, the sun is setting, so let's sleep through our first night of hardcore Minecraft. And we got the advancement, Sweet Dream. Give me my bed back. I still have a lot of hay bales to collect up. I collected up all the hay bales I could find, which brought us up to 64 and 1, so a total of 65. And of course, I'm now noticing that there is more hay bales. We can just come back for those because I don't want to collect them. It's kind of a far walk. Let's continue exploring around this seed because man, it is amazing. I mean, there's literally snowy caps surrounding this entire area. And if there isn't snowy peaks, then there's stony peaks and also a jungle. Yeah, this is a pretty darn cool seed. I kind of want to stay closer to the snowy mountains though and not so much the uh, tropical biomes. I mean, if we built at that village that we just were at, we could do a pretty cool village transformation over the next few episodes, but it's right near spawn and I kind of want to explore around and maybe we might find a cooler location. And considering how the seed is going already, I'm sure we will. Got snow question mark? Because it's everywhere if you need any. And tons of ice too. Yeah, this is so, so cool. Imagine building like a deep slate castle up here. That would look so incredible. My mind is just filling up with ideas. Oh, that's powdery snow. Okay, okay, not good, not good, not good. And there's a ton right in front of us too. Don't get me wrong, Mojang. It was a cool add into the game, but it does make exploring, especially in snowy biomes, a lot more difficult. All right. Well, this might be the mother of all mountains. I mean, just look at the sheer size of this thing and look at all the iron in the mountain. Oh yeah. This is definitely the coolest seed I think I've ever spawned into. I will make sure to leave those coordinates down in the description and also the seed. I guess that would be important because the coordinates don't really matter unless you have the seed information, or I could just be really mean and just not leave either of them. No, I won't do that. That's, that's too 
assuming. But it does look like day two is about to be complete, so I'm gonna have to sleep through the nighttime in a short minute. Oh yeah, this thing is huge, but it is sleepy time or not yet, almost sleepy time. Sleepy time, now we've made it through day two. I have made the decision that this is gonna be our building location. I mean, I just love this mountain. And there's one right behind us, right back there. You can't really see it. So I think it is perfect. Although it is a little cluttered. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of a few of these trees so I have a nice spot to build a starter house. The trees are mostly cleared out and the sun is about to go down. So on to our next day. Can I sleep yet? Can I sleep yet? Can I sleep yet? No, I can't sleep yet. Come on, let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Oh, what's up there, little bee? All right, I can sleep now. On to day three we go. There is so much iron, oh my goodness. Tons right there, tons over there, some right there, oh, a lot right there. Even more up there, and then some right there. We are already up to 44 raw iron, and there is still so much more to go. And as you guys saw, I crafted myself some leather booties so I don't sink into that powdery snow, because I'm sure there is a lot of it up here. I've also been trying to stay away from the mountain goats just so they don't knock me off a very, very high peak. I'm gonna keep collecting iron though until my pickaxe breaks. I will say this is mighty convenient not having to jump down into the caves and just kind of being able to go up the mountains. Well, my stone pickaxe just broke, so we're gonna go on to our second one now, and there is still a lot more iron. This is a tad bit overwhelming, I may say, but obviously good. The sun is starting to go down, so now we're going to be going on to, I think it's day four. You know, I'm pretty proud of myself. I already got a ton of iron and I am still alive. Well, I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but let's sleep now. I'm now up to two stacks of raw iron, which I think is plenty. Oh, what's up there, Mr. Goat? There is a lot more to go around, but I don't really feel the need to harvest it yet. But I will say this view is amazing. I mean, we are really, really up here. There's also a lot of emeralds which makes sense so i might have to harvest those at some point all right i'm gonna slowly try to make my way back down to the ground and hopefully not die on the way back down Ooh, sweet berries don't mind if i harvest these guys up okay that hurts that hurts that hurts even more ah i might be a little bit lost but come on would you take a look at this there's just mountains everywhere this is so darn cool i don't think this one's gonna have as much iron showing because i think that's jagged peaks and this is snowy slopes yeah definitely with that ice but it is so so cool that there's this much around us where's a little opening in trees it's not this no it's much bigger than that it's gotta be right down here yeah this is it right here you know i cleared out all those trees for a nice little building location but i think we're gonna change that that. Instead, we're going to build on this side of the mountain, which I think looks much, much cooler and also much more dramatic. I mean, look how huge this thing is. And we have a big open grassy lands to do all our building in. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you there's a village next door. Well, hopefully you do, because there is one. Am I hearing noises that I think I'm hearing? Oh yeah, there is a, there's a monster spawner right here. Oh yeah, there is. Let's light this whole thing up. Oh my goodness, there's one right there. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, we got Monster Hunter. What do we got in here? Okay, some goodies. My inventory is full. Oh, is there no saddle? Oh, that's a bummer. We have a music disc, though. Good to know, though. We have a skeleton spawner, like, right below us. Oh, that is so cool, too. The sun sets behind that mountain. I'm sure it's gonna look so cool when the sky gets all orangey-bluish. Huh, and I just realized there's another mountain right over there. I swear, they are literally everywhere. I'm gonna place down my little starter chest right there. I also got a furnace so I can cook all this meat up, and I gotta cook the rest of this iron. I already started cooking some, and I got an iron axe but there's a lot more to smell clear out our inventory real quick so i can sleep and i want to go check out that village one bed right there oh my goodness look at that that is so cool sleepy time nope not sleepy time sleepy time all right let's go take a little peek at this village and see if there's any good loot for the taking it's also going to be really convenient when we want to start doing some villager trading because they're like right next door lots of hay bales we can take but i'm going to leave them for now definitely going to take another bell don't mind having this what up there little guy what's going on any good chest 
Okay, we have a- ooh, Blast Furnace. I will take this. Maybe there might be a chest in here. Ooh, there is a Stone Cutter. Definitely gonna take that. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to take away all your trades, but I need them more than you do. Oh, there's another bell. Okay, now we're up to four bells. Well, I think that's pretty much the entire village. For safety reasons, I'm gonna craft myself up some iron armor. And also, I have the iron, so why not? Let's cover ourselves up. And now maybe we just might not die. Maybe. And also, let's make a shield. Not two, just one. Because if I die without a shield, you guys will roast me in the comments. We can take this out of our hand for now. So I'm gonna smelt up a little bit more iron so we can make some more tools. Because I'm gonna need to do some block collecting before we actually build this starter house. Which I don't think we're gonna build up here. I kind of want to save this area for a future build just because it looks so good. Instead, we're going to come all the way down here and build up against this little cliff. I think it has a great view of the mountain and also in the future when we're building some amazing builds, it won't be in the way or sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh, and by the way, there's another village like right over there. You can see the top of a roof. We can go check that out in a little bit. Oh my god, is that another mountain? Is that, are, are you kidding me? It's another mountain and another one over there. Oh, hey there, little buddy. Do you want to be my friend? You want to be my friend? Oh, I don't have any sweet berries on me, but I don't think he wants to be my friend. He kind of just ran away. I pretty much have all the blocks together that I'm going to need to build this starter house. Besides one thing, and I'm not real excited to go get it. I really want to use some deep slate on the roof, but that involves me going all all the way down to the bottom of the world, which also happens to be a little bit dangerous, but I do really want to use the deep slate, so we're just going to go for it. Okay, so this cave looks like it just pretty much drops all the way down. Oh yeah, that goes way down there. I even see some skulk. So what's the safest way down? I do want to grab a little bit more coal just so I have plenty of torches. Okay, just slow. Okay, that's not a good start. Just slowly but surely. I'm going to grab this copper too. Oh my goodness, there's so much of it. It's literally just this giant clump. What are we at already? Almost a stack with no fortune. Maybe I should have brought in a water bucket. Could have been wise. Yeah, I'm going to go grab one real quick because that is a long drop down there. Like really long down there. Now I just got to make my way back up and I'm not going to parkour. Water bucket has been acquired, but now I just got to find water. And there's definitely not... Not much of it. I'm sure the village will have some in one of the wells, if those things still exist. Nope, there definitely isn't one here. Oh, yo, I, I, wait, I am so stupid. I can just get water from the farmland. And down we go. You know, I'm gonna get my shield real quick just in case. And I'm gonna put the torches right there so it kind of lights everything up if I need it to. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I suck at this. We gotta go a little bit deeper though. Now I just need to get like two stacks of this stuff and we can head back up to the surface. You know, I'm gonna be smart and block that off and now I'm gonna keep mining. Now just take me back up to the surface. I, I don't want to be down here. Ooh, I would like to collect up actually some skulk. Well, not skulk. I said skulk. This is, uh, what is this called? Dripstone. I feel like a speed runner right now. Besides the speedy part. The deep slate was the last thing I needed. So let's get started with this starter house. This building was not planned. And once I got halfway through it, I ended up not liking it very much. So I tore the entire thing down and started again with a blank slate. The second time around, I went with a much simpler shape. I mean, it is our starter house after all, so it doesn't need to be anything crazy. Building the house out of some oak logs and oak planks, and then with a deep slate roof with a spruce trim. And for some reason, I just love this style. Well, this is what we got so far, and I know it's a little bit small, but I think it's perfect. Oh, and obviously in my typical fashion, I still have not built an interior. Before we get started on the inside of the build, I actually wanna set up a small little crop farm because I only have 11 wheat seeds and I'm pretty sure only a few potatoes and carrots. So I'd like to start growing those right now. So hopefully we can make a little bit bigger of a farm later in the episode. So I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit of grass right here. That should be good. Now we just gotta get rid of the tall grass. We can just put a bucket of water 
water right there, take our hoe and turn this into farmland, and then place down the wheat seeds. Sadly, I only did have 11 of them. Well, I think I actually ended up with 18 after collecting that tall grass, but I'm gonna need more to fill this thing completely in. So just a quick little harvest. 12 more later, and now we can actually place this entire thing in with one extra. I'm gonna go grab my uh, carrots and potatoes real quick so we can plant those in too. Well, it turns out I actually have 35 more wheat seeds up here. I have, where are the carrots? 14 carrots and 17 potatoes. Now I'm gonna collect this stuff up real quick just so we can take it all down to the starter house. I'm leaving the chest though. That, that's way too much work to empty that thing out and bring it all down here. I can do that a little bit later. I just stopped by the village real quick to get another bucket of water because water is not too common in this grassy lands. So I'm gonna make myself an infinite water source real quick and then place this back and then grab another bucket of water and place it right there. Grab my hoe and make some more farmland. So I got all the crops placed in and then I did a little bit of detailing around the front side of the farm by just adding in little splotches of coarse dirt and also some ferns and also grass. Now another thing I want to do real quick is I actually want to build a little pathway coming from the stairs over to the farm. I think that is a good shape right there and then let's just fill all of this in with coarse dirt. I'd love to be able to texture it with some rooted dirt but I don't have any of that. Don't get me wrong, I really like the house but it was standing out a little bit. So I decided to come through and add in a few custom trees because custom trees can never look bad well sometimes isn't this well just so cute i mean i mean i just i just love it and it's an infinite water source too look but you can't put the water back in you gotta be careful i already flooded this whole area and got rid of all my tall grass and my ferns i added in a few boulders up here using some stone and slabs and then i actually used some dripstone block and some granite slabs to make kind of a beige reddish orange color boulder and i think it looked great there's one up there too actually we can add one in like right here, let's say. Yeah, you know, I think that looks pretty good. There's a little opening in the land, so that definitely helps it. But now it's time for the part of this episode that I am not looking forward to, which is building the interior to this starter house. First things first, I need to clear all of this out because we kind of built directly into the side of a hill. Oh, my shovel broke and I don't have a backup. Gotta go make another. Well, the inside is all cleared out. So now we just gotta add in a floor and I'm thinking we use some spruce logs and then some spruce slabs and then take the spruce logs and strip it down. Yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Although I do have a little bit of an idea of doing a second floor and then also a basement, which I think we can kind of do something like this and just do a little bit of a spiral staircase going up. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Let's place slabs right there. And then for the ceiling, we're gonna do the same thing as the floor by just using some spruce logs and also some spruce slabs just to give it a little bit of depth. I have a little area dug out downstairs for the basement and I think this is gonna be our storage room. But first I gotta clean up all the walls cause this is really ugly looking. So just gonna get rid of all the stone and place in some planks. You know, I'm gonna make this room a little bit bigger because it's feeling like it might be crammed with all the chests shoved in here. And I'm going to need the cobblestone for some furnaces. I'm actually replacing some slabs for upside down stairs. And you know, I got to get rid of this one because this has to be the back wall because if we go any further, we'll be hitting our pathway on the outside. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now I just got to add in some chest back here. I'm actually going to replace the floor real quick with some cobblestone. Some trapdoors right here. 18 chest is definitely not gonna be enough, so I am gonna have to harvest some wood. But first, I'm gonna sleep because it's nighttime. Oh yeah, not even close to enough chest. So the mini storage room is pretty much complete. I have a total of 18 double chests down here, a few barrels just for current projects and things that I need to craft, a furnace, because it's always smart to have a furnace in your storage room, obviously a crafting table, stone cutter, and then a map. And this really gives you an idea of how large this mountain is. I mean, it literally takes up an entire map. And that's our tiny little starter house. I'll organize the chest in between episodes, just because it's a slow and grindy process. All right, on to the next floor. So I'm thinking in here of doing a kitchen and also make it sort of decorative. I mean, I'm not totally sure. I'm just gonna kind of go for it and see what happens. And then for the top floor, this is just gonna be our bedroom with some chest up here also. There isn't quite enough room to actually fit in enchantment table up here if we wanted to do one, which we can't because we don't have any of the stuff for it, not even diamonds. But before I even get started on that, I gotta work on the downstairs. Well, jumping ahead a little bit, I got this whole downstairs finished up, which happens to be pretty basic. We have a total of six furnaces, one blast furnace, two smokers for our food. We have a little little sink right here with a faucet, a big picture frame because we, we like art, art's cool. Some storage back in the corner. We have a smithing table right there, composter just in case we need it. I mean, 
I would love to do more in here, but I just really don't have the resources to build anything else. Typically, I would do some like rooted dirt and then bone meal it so the roots are sticking through, but I can't because I don't have rooted dirt. Now, if we go upstairs, this is also very, very basic. The same picture, if you notice, as the downstairs, because it turns out this is the only four by two painting that you can actually have. Come on, Mojang, upgrade the art. I don't think it's been upgraded in like years. We got our bed with a barrel and crafting table, an armor stand for our future armor, or currently this armor, just when we get diamond armor, then we'll put this stuff on there. Besides that though, that's pretty much the entire starter house. Not much more I need and not much more I can do. Bell, loud noises. If you're watching this at 3 a.m. and the TV was really loud, I'm sorry. With the starter house tour complete, I think it's time that we call it for an episode. I will be sure to link the texture packs I'm using right now down in the description. And same with all the songs, the seed, and the coordinates of the starter house. And yeah, yeah, I know I'm pretty bad about putting the seed in the description, but I swear I'll do it this time. And if I forget, that's it down in the bottom left corner. Long, long numbers. Not fun. Oh, I didn't even realize it's becoming nighttime. Let's go sleep real quick in our brand new bedroom that is not very, very cool looking. Besides that though, my friends, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed and you want to see more content like this, please hit that like and subscribe button and maybe that notification bell if you're feeling extra nice. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye now. <laughs>